we have an opportunity this morning to uh, worship with our Lord Jesus Christ and to participate in beautiful believers' baptism. That's how we're going to start our revival services is with the baptism of a young lady who has received Jesus as her Savior. I'll introduce her in a moment. Anyway, we want to go to the Lord in prayer this morning and then we'll introduce our candidate for baptism. Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, that you showed us the way to receive Jesus Christ by giving your life, Jesus, on the cross. You endured the suffering for us so that we would know that our sin has been atoned for, that we have the way of salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. And we pray today for Dr. Steve that as he comes and brings us a message during the service, that you might anoint him and speak through him to us. I want to pray for each one that invites a friend, that their friends would listen because the Holy Spirit would empower them, their words, to touch the hearts of men and women and boys and girls. And I want to pray now as we lead this young lady into the waters of baptism that, Father, you might be pleased. You might be pleased because she has given her life to Jesus Christ. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to introduce you to Mari Bonomley. Come on, Mari. We're going to take our time. This is a big day for Mari. Mari has lived, she lived in, uh, during World War II, she lived in London. And during the bombing of London, she endured all of that. And she's come here and had asked Emmy and me to come to her home, which we did, and share the gospel. And we shared the gospel of Jesus Christ, and Mari beautifully gave her heart to Jesus Christ. And she wants to join our church. She's gonna come on around. I'm going to ask you to turn around. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Told her we're in no hurry. We want to take our time and do this right. So, Mari, it's my privilege as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We're buried with Christ in baptism, and we are raised again to walk in newness of life. And all God's people said, Amen. 